This is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. Sports. In Fayette Mall and AllSportsLEX.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. Well, good evening and welcome to Lexington Catholic High School. William Warfield here with you as we bring you, for the first time on the network, thanks to White Grin Maggard Orthodontics, we bring you lacrosse. You know, we've been telling you guys for a while that uh, we were going to bring you some lacrosse here on the network, and that's exactly what we're doing here tonight. Lexington Catholic being introduced here now. There you see their starters are playing Woodford County tonight here at Joseph K. Ford Stadium on the campus of Lexington Catholic. And uh, I'm excited about tonight. I may sound uh, <laughs> like I don't know what I'm talking about at times, but uh, hey, we're just going to have fun with it, give you guys some coverage of lacrosse here this evening. Uh, first time that these two teams met, uh, I understand Lexington Catholic ended up winning that ball game in a in a blowout. I mean, it was like 25 to nothing from my understanding. As uh, you see, again, both teams just kind of lining up there. Um, let's see if we can give you some of the numbers here for Lexington Catholic. You've seen the team captain there for Lexington Catholic, uh, Falcone, Jake Falcone, shaking the hand of the Woodford County. I do not have a Woodford County roster here tonight. I do have Lexington Catholics thanks to the young man here in the press box that helped me out uh, with that. Uh, but, you know, lacrosse happening here live on Prep Spin. And thanks to White Green Magger Orthodontics. Also want to thank Bluegrass Orthopedics for all that they do on the network. Andrew Carlson, I know he does a lot with the lacrosse community. I want to thank them for all their support as well. As uh, Here we go. Lexington Catholic will control 
the rock is uh, he's moving left to right on your screen. Knights looking to get inside the what do they call that? The X back there is what I was to. In the back of the box. Knights just kind of taking their time. Look at that uh, game clock working here <laughs> in just a few seconds as well. It is going to be a little different from what the official clock is out there, and we'll try to catch that up if we do get a timeout. And Lexington Catholic on the board already as uh, the Knights score their first goal. That was a quick one. Goal score by number 26, Ben Barbary. I'll let that clock tick down just a little bit for you. Ben Barbary, the young man that got the goal there for Lexington Catholic, put the Knights up on the board first. We'll be right back at it. Getting Lexington Catholic controlling. So this uh, could be a quick one tonight. I just wanted to get out here and see what uh, lacrosse looks like in 1080p 60 HD here this evening on Prep Spin. Ball out top is there looking to move it towards the box. Knights have it out top there to Nicholas Dennis who had a touch on it. And it's going to make a little spin move. Nice passing it around here. Another spin move. Knights fire off a shot and a nice save there by the goalie of Woodford County. Second shot attempt from Lexington Catholic. Ones went in and that one saved by the Woodford County keeper. A lot of checking there for Lexington Catholic. Good defense. Woodford County right back at them, though. And Lexington Catholic may come up with the ball. There is uh, Allen Westerfield. Allen Westerfield in there helping his teammates out. Far left corner as they work it behind the cage. It's Nicholas Dennis again with the ball. Hand it off, and here's a shot, and that one goes out of play. The closest one to it is going to be Lexington Catholic. They will have the ball. So Knights will have it and a shot and another score for the Knights that time the score came by Clay Giles Clay Giles gets Lexington Catholic on the board for a second time here today Lexington Catholic goal scored by number nine Clay Giles you see the Knights up two to nothing Clay Giles with a nice shot and score. Face off here at center field. And the Knights come up with it. Just get it looking inside the crease and another score. And that time the goal by Spencer Chris. Spencer Chris with the goal. And that uh, gives Lexington Catholic a three to nothing. Lead. Fast-paced game and didn't expect Joseph it to be 
as fast paced as it is. I'm uh, doing my first lacrosse game here today on the network. We did a we did a state championship many years ago, but uh, we had some we had some guys that knew what they were talking about on the mic doing that. But uh, I think Catholic continues to win these faceoffs. Just over the timeline there. Nice move. It's like a lot of footwork in the sport. Josh Griffin with the ball. Griffin's going to pass it up here to his teammate. Back out to Griffin. Work it here on the right side of the hash. Back over. Yellow Jackets not having any kind of offense yet. Lexington Catholic with another goal. Four to nothing. Lexington Catholic. The Lexington Catholic goal score by number 19, Sean Campbell. Sean Campbell with the goal that time, we're being told. Sean Campbell. This roster, I can see it a little bit better. Maybe we can call some more of these names out. Face off again here, and we'll take you inside here and let you check it out. Let's again come up with it. That is uh, Britt O'Brien, who had a touch on it there on the face-off. This young man right here, that's Joseph Stuber. And uh, behind the box there, Spencer Chris. Knights worked the ball all the way back. And Move the ball forward now. Taking their time. You're watching Lexington Catholic in Woodford County. It's live here at Lexington Catholic High School. Just a K Ford Stadium. We're having a difficult time with our uh, time clock up here. <laughs> Another shot and another score there for the Knights. Knights lead this one five to nothing here in at Lexington Catholic High Lexington School. Have a goal score number fourteen, Joseph Stuber. Stuber with the goal. That's the fifth goal of the ball game for Lexington Catholic. So the Knights need business. Brian just gonna kind of toss that back here. Actually, I'm sorry, that was Carson. Griffin had another touch on it. We'll swing it back over here. Up top. Trying to work it inside the crease. There's a nice little give and go. And did not happen. Saved there by the keeper. I think uh, Collins Bowen Alley's on behalf of Night Vision. Collins Bowen Centers. 
You get uh, $99 worth of entertainment for only $39.99 if you mention that you heard the ad here on Night Vision. Part of Prep Spoon. It's the Lexington Catholic Digital Network. Joseph Stuber with the shot, and that one misses. Lexington Catholic will have the ball. Clay Giles had a touch on it there behind the behind the cage. Nice shot and another save there by the Woodford keeper. He didn't know where the ball was. I think it might have went up his shorts a little bit. Pick up by the Knights. Good uh, work out there by Josh Griffin. A lot of Griffins in the game, it seems like. Either that or Josh is just all over the field. All out top. Sean. There's a sling and a fire and a shot and a score by Chris Spencer. Chris Spencer just sent that one in in a hurry. And Lexington Catholic up six to nothing. Put to the Catholic goal, his second of the game, score by number 12, Spencer Chris. Spencer That's Chris with 14, the Joseph. goal, and they're going to give the assist to number 14, Joseph Stuber. And our clock is not matching the official clock out there. As, uh, we were having a couple issues with it, getting it started and stopped. But the official clock out there on the field being kept. Matter of fact, they're at uh, 4 minutes and 38 seconds, it looks like, out there. Thanks with the ball. The, I don't even think Wilford County's had the ball on their side of the on their side of the field yet, to, to be honest. There's a move to the cage by Lexington Catholic. Gonna play it behind. Ball. Got all the way in the midfield and we're gonna have all sides called, it looks like. So Woodford County will have the ball now on their side of the field. Haven't seen this yet for Woodford County. That was a check, man. What a what a check there by Lexington Catholic. Gonna have a little bit of a little bit of contact there. Knights were looking for a shot. Good pass and a score. Lexington Catholic once again. That's Ben Barbie. Ben Barbie. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let our time click down as trying to catch it up with the official clock. Joseph Stuber with the assist. Barbie with the goal for the Knights. And it is seven to nothing, Lexington Catholic. Seven to nothing, Knights. You're watching the game live in real time here on prepspin.com. First time lacrosse on the network. I mentioned we did a state championship many years ago. That was on the uh, iHi network, low quality. This is. Uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is TV quality that you're watching here today. This uh, technology certainly has blessed us here on Prep Spin. Let's imagine when we do lacrosse and we got multiple camera angles for you. 
And that will happen. We're trying to trying to get that uh, in the works for you. See Catholic with the ball as they continue to add on here to their seven to nothing lead here in Lexington. Our, uh, the difference between the two clocks, between our clock on our score graphic and the one on the field is about four seconds difference now. So we have uh, called up with it. Knights playing behind the cage again. Ball out top, Knights looking. The shot just to the left. The shot just to the left of the goal. That was uh, Spencer Chris again on the shot. And he seeing a ball about 100 mile an hour, it seemed like. There's another goal for the Knights. Count that goal for Josh Griffin. <clears throat> and it's eight to nothing, Lexington Catholic. Stubert with the assist again. I believe he's got three three assists or maybe four assists today. Having a good day out there. Face off once again here at midfield. And uh and you know Lexington Catholic comes up with it once again. Lexington Catholic must be really, really good. Shot and a score. Wow. That was a fastball down Main Street that just went in. That was uh, Spencer Harris. Spencer Harris with the goal on that one. Spencer Harris with the goal. I see Catholic up nine to nothing. In the first quarter of play here at Lexington Catholic High School, if you're just joining us, Lexington Catholic up nine to nothing in this one. The ball going to go way back out there. They might have to it looks like they might give that to Woodford County, possibly. Woodford County with the ball. Lexington Catholic trying to pick up on the defense here, and it's going to be a turnover, it looks like, by Woodford. Waste no time into putting this one back into play. Clocks are back in sync. Shot and miss to the right by the Knights. Lexington Catholic has it. Good pass. Shot, and that one misses. Lexington Catholic will keep it, though, as they are closest to the ball. Shot just misses a save there by the keeper for Woodford County. 
Ball up for grabs, 50-50 opportunity. There's some checking on the stick. And the first quarter comes to an end. Lexington Catholic dominates. Nine, nine to nothing here at Lexington Catholic High School. We're going to step out for a moment, folks, and uh, we'll be back here in just moments. You're watching the game live. It's live here on Prep Spin for the first time. Lacrosse has made it to the network. Sitters are here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, kids, behave. Man to man. I got the little guy. Oh, did you leave cash for the pizza? I got it. With more features than ever. All right, who's hungry? Mobile banking from Central Bank lets you deposit checks, you're out. pay bills, okay, you're gonna get a rip screen. send and receive funds with pop money, and more. Hey. So you can stay in the game without missing a step. Do more with mobile banking from Central Bank, official bank of UK Athletics. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter. Locally owned and operated since 1972. Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack of Prep Spin. Mingy Beef Jerky, the official game day snack here at Prep Spin. I thank them for all their support here on the network. So we bring you back out to the field, back to the action. As so we begin the uh, second Quarter of play, Lexington Catholic up nine to nothing. Knights look like they're, they've changed sides. Passionate fans here at Lexington Catholic. Ball out top here for the Knights. If you want to give me a crick in my neck, uh, Ben Barbie with the ball out top. Taking his time. See a little bit of miscommunication there. Next thing kind of trying to get to the ball and it does go out of play. It will go to Woodford County. Yellow Jackets moving left to right on your screen. They are in the yellow and black is Lexington Catholic in the classic blue and white out there and looking sharp. Both teams looking sharp. There's a spin move. Shot uh, misses to the right. It will stay with Lexington Catholic. So Lexington Catholic will maintain possession. Ball in play for the Knights. So swing it out top. Now they work it over in the right wing over there. You may hear a little bit of basketball, a little bit of soccer, and a little bit of baseball in this broadcast, and I apologize. I know absolutely nothing about lacrosse, but I know that's a goal. I know that is a goal right there. And that is 10 that Lexington Catholic has up on the board right now. 10 to nothing, Lexington Catholic. Lexington Catholic goal, 743, Nolan Yorkie. 
Yorkie with the goal. That was number 43, Nolan Yorkie. This is the faceoff here at center field. I think White, Greer, and Maggard Orthodontics, our title sponsor here on the network for all their support. Lexington Catholic has dominated this game. I think it was expected coming into it. Knights will play again on Wednesday night. Uh, should they go on the victory here tonight, I believe is how the bracket's laid out. One thing that was was hard for us to find was the brackets. Finally, we had a couple of people on Twitter send them to us. But would love to uh, possibly cover some more lacrosse games here on Prep Spin. I see Kelly just kind of working it around the horn here. Number 24 for Lexington Catholic, Nicholas Dennis. You saw him with a touch on it. As the Knights work it again behind the cage. We've done many, many football and soccer games here on this field at Joseph K. Ford Stadium. There's a shot in, and that thing was rifled in there. It does go out of play, but that thing was a shot. Nice with the ball. In the official time out there on the field. There's a shot. That one, a nice save there by the Woodford County keeper. Woodford County now moving. Ball intercepted. It was uh, Josh Griffin, the deuce. Getting that one, and that, one, that was a rocket shot. That shot and score by Nicholas Dennis. Lexington Catholic up 11 to nothing. Split to the Catholic goal, score by number 24, Nick Dennis. Assist number 12, Spencer Chris. Spencer Chris on the assist there. Knights in Woodford County. This is the playoffs. Across uh, very, I mean, it's getting really popular among everyone that we talk to. And I can tell you right now, it's a, it's a sport that we will love here on Prep Spin. Nice, just playing a little, a little bit of catch out top. There's a shine and a nice save again by that Woodford keeper. He's going to try to get the ball deep here to Woodford County. It's about as deep as Woodford County's been all day in this ball game. Listen, Cali, and their defense has been superior. Their offense has been amazing. Griffin had the ball come out of his net there. 
Still battle for it. Knights pick it up. Shot. That one misses. Woodford County with the ball. Her clock just a little bit ahead of the official clock out there. Nice score there by Lexington Catholic. That was Joseph Stuber, and on the assist, I believe, was Spencer Chris. Nice play. Goals for number 14, Joseph Stuber. And with that goal, Joseph Stuber is now your record holder career goals with 71. Record has been broken here at uh, Lexington Catholic. 71 career goals for Stuber. for the face off again here. Knights lead this one in a big way, 12 to nothing. Lexington Catholic with possession of the ball. Clay Giles has it, just kind of walking it around. Giles going to give it back over to his teammate, Westerfield. It's Alan Westerfield, folks. And Westerfield's going to get it back up here. Some of the younger guys, it looks like Max Johnson. Or, I'm sorry, I take that back. That was uh, Nolan Yorkey there for Lexington Catholic. Yorkey. Gave it up here to his teammate, Nicholas Dennis, once again. Heinz trying to work this one inside the crease. Trying to. There's a bounce shot. I don't know if that was a shot or if it was a pass, but it does go out of play. That shot misses off the, looks like that might have been, no, oh, they're going to say that is a goal. So it does go in. 13 to nothing, Lexington Catholic. Lexington Catholic goal hits second of the game, score by number nine, Clay Giles. Clay Giles with the goal there for Lexington Catholic. Official time out there on the clock is five minutes even right now, so we'll let that tick away before we start ours back up. <clears throat> we have a little thing that plugs into the scoreboard controller here, but uh, what you know, I went off and left it at the office. <laughs> it's kind of like a last minute thing for us tonight uh, to come do lacrosse, so just trying to hurry up and get up here and make it happen. I do want to thank, uh, again, Bluegrass Orthopedics, one of our fine sponsors on the network. I want to thank uh, also uh, Simply Great Soaps over in Paris, handcrafted soaps. Mother's Day is coming up. You should have checked them out. Simply Great Soaps over in Paris. It's the Mackley family that owns that. Of course, uh, they also own uh, Mingy Beef Jerky as well. Uh, just a lot of success over there in Paris with the Mackley family and all that they do. Um, and they love high school sports.
Clay Giles. Giles is going to give it up to his teammate. Shot that misses. Lexington Catholic will have it. There's another shot. That one was sent in there pretty, pretty fast. Goes all the way back to the fence. I'll see where we're messing up on the clock is every time it goes back there, they're stopping the clock, and that's why our time keeps mismatching. Knights again score. Another goal for Lexington Catholic. 14 to nothing. Orchard County just... Mismatched here today. Spencer Chris, assist number 14, Joseph Stuber. Joseph Stuber with the assist there for Lexington Catholic. Fourteen to nothing. Knights on top. Of holding called against Lexington Catholic. I think that's what he called. This is the once again the debut of lacrosse here on the network, and we're in search of some really good voice play-by-play -play guys to do some lacrosse games with us. So if you're that guy, give us a call or a girl. Uh, give us a call. Leave us a voicemail if you get our voicemail and so we can hear what uh, what you sound like. It's Lexington Catholic dominating this one. Again, 14 to nothing. As you see there on your scoreboard, they're already up the field a little bit farther than what uh, we were aiming there with the camera. But... <laughs> So quick, too, Lexington Catholic. This game brought to you today by White Green Maggard Orthodontics. On behalf of Lexington Catholic, we want to thank... Uh, Class 101 over in Regency Center as well, and as well as UK Federal Credit Union and UK Sports Medicine. I think those fine folks here on the network. Knights looking to get another goal here. And that one, nice save again there by Woodford County. I tell you what, he's given up a lot of goals today, but he's made a couple really good saves as well. And uh, Lexington Catholic is the equivalent of a college team out there compared to a lot of the teams in the state. I heard uh, St. X was really good. I heard Bryan Station was decent. Other than that, I'd like to uh, have some of the lacrosse coaches call into our show and talk about the sport. That would be pretty cool to learn more about this amazing sport of lacrosse. Keeps on ticking away. We're about 20 second difference. 
between our clock and the official clock that you see there on your video screen. Shot off the keeper. It will stay with Lexington Catholic. Shot. That one off the keeper again. And uh, time ticking away here. Still got a couple seconds. And a score. At the horn, too. Uh, that score came in the 15th goal of the day. By Lexington that Catholic. Joseph. Let's see, Joseph Stuber with that goal. And uh, that'll take us into the third here today with uh, Lexington Catholic in Woodford County. We'll be back, folks. We're going to step out and we'll be back again. Mingi Bee Jerky, the uh, official game day snack of Prep Spin. Take a little walk with me and I'll keep you in good company And be there for you to the end You'll never be alone, my friend mm -hmm. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. In Fayette Mall and AllSportsLEX.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. Sitters are here. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, kids, behave. Man to man, I got the little guy. Hey. Oh, did you leave cash for the pizza? I got it. With more features than ever. All right, who's hungry? Mobile banking from Central Bank lets you deposit checks, you're out. pay bills, okay, you're gonna get a rip screen. send and receive funds with pop money, and more. Hey. So you can stay in the game without missing a step. A Do more with mobile banking from Central Bank, official bank of UK Athletics. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972.
At White, Greer & Maggard Orthodontics, we believe that greatness is in the details. Each decision we make is for the benefit of our patients and our community. This means using industry-leading technology to help you achieve your goals and uncover your perfect smile. Our precision and efficiency results in an experience that is both pleasurable and affordable. White, Greer & Maggard Orthodontics, applying precision and elegance to your smile.
Back here at Lexington Catholic High School, we do got a running clock, we're being told. As uh, soon as they face off here, it will continue to go. Lexington Catholic on top, 15 to nothing. Wilford <clears throat> County come out a little bit more aggressive here in the second half. We do got a player down. That will stop the clock. Anytime a player's down, even though we got a running clock, that will stop the clock. Gives us time to uh, again thank Bluegrass Orthopedics, Andrew Carlson and his great staff, Dr. Tim Wilson. Uh, thank them for all that they do here on the network. I know that uh, a lot of you in the lacrosse community know all about those guys and all that they do. We'll see a softball defeat Berea 9-4. to That score just coming in, and uh, East Jessman was on top of West Jessman in softball. Um, just throwing out some scores that we know. Looks like uh, tomorrow night uh, we're going to have Lexington Catholic baseball on the network once again. So that uh, will be fun. Lexington Catholic and Tate's Creek tomorrow night live here from Joseph K. Ford Stadium. I guess they call a baseball field the same. So it's all the the same but uh, anyway we will have that for you tomorrow night live here on prep spin and night vision <laughs> Woodford County on the offense right now like St. Catholic ball out of play and it will stay with Whittaker County. This is the first time we've really seen the Woodford offense tonight. They are spreading out that offense. Hand checks there. Woodford trying to get their first goal today, but Lexington Catholic shutting them down on the defense right now. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Oh, there's an example of the ball. I was curious. Uh, I was curious how that ball was. How hard it was uh, compared to baseball. And, uh, just found out. Like seeing Catholic back on the offensive attack as they. Lead the ball game again, 15 to nothing here against Woodford County. We are in the third quarter. There was a lot of contact there. Completely legal is what I'm being told. There's a shot and a score. Lexington Catholic. Allen Westerfield just said, hey, if you're going to hit my guy down, my teammate, I'm just going to put one in the, in the goal. That's exactly what he did. We do want to thank uh, Workout Anytime over in Versailles. Yeah, need to thank them as well. As they are a proud supporter of Woodford County Athletics. And uh, anytime we do Woodford County games, they are part of a network as well of sponsors. And Workout Anytime over in Versailles. 
Just opened up a new one, location in Nicholasville too. But uh, Lexington Catholic on top, 16, 16 to nothing. Alan Westerfield got things going here in the second half for the Knights with a goal. It's going to take their time, it looks like. I like this kid, number two, for that's Josh Griffin. He's pretty quick, as you can see there. You play it through him. He's kind of like the uh, field general, if you will, for Lexington Catholic. A lot of touches. Got number 52 has played pretty good, too. Carson Craig. Ooh, got some. Checking going on. You got the ball, you can get hit. Free County. Another good save there by the Woodford County keeper. You are watching the game live and in real time as it happens here at Lexington Catholic High School. It's William Warfield in Woodford County just about. Scored there, but a nice save there by the keeper for Lexington Catholic. Get you his name here in just a second. Knights. Can slow it down now as you saw the official put his hand up. Um, taking away here in the third quarter as we are under a running clock, 16 to nothing lead, Woodford County trailing to Lexington Catholic. Shot, that one off the side of the, looked like that might have hit the crossbar there. Might still controlling and that one I would play Woodford County will have it. Woodford with it. Shot. That one. Getting a deflection there by the Lexington Catholic keeper. It's big 42 there for Lexington Catholic. And Kieran, Kieran Casey, I think is how you say that. Kieran Casey, the keeper for Lexington Catholic. Woodford County did not give me a roster tonight, so I apologize to those fans. As time continues to tick away, it was uh, Clay Giles that went down for Lexington Catholic. There's this Griffin kid again, Josh. Or if Josh is any kin to. Jared Griffin that played here at Lexington Catholic for Coach Brandon Salzman. Watching the Knights in the Yellow Jackets live here at Joseph K. Ford Stadium on the campus of Lexington Catholic High School. 16 to nothing. Lexington Catholic winning this one. Their last meeting, I understand it was 24, 25 to nothing maybe. They beat Woodford County. So they were expecting another possible 
Big win tonight. There's a shot and a nice save there by Woodford County's key. I wish I knew his name because he has made a few good saves tonight. Pick up on the guy running. There's a save there by Lexington Catholic's keeper. He just kind of stood in front of it and took it as Garen Casey. <laughs> stood in there like uh, Anthony Rizzo did last night in the Cubs game against Chapman. looking to get inside the crease. They do. They score. Another score for Lexington Catholic. Bryce Willoughby, I think, is who that one was. Yep, Bryce Willoughby. We'll add another score up on the board for the Knights. 17 to nothing. Bryce Willoughby knocks that one in. <clears throat> Take you back into the face off here. Look at that HD that you see there on your screen. Knights looking to score again quickly. Even though they're <laughs> they're up 17 to nothing. Well, they pull it back out. It's Nicholas Dennis with the ball. Inside the 20 trying to put on a move. Found his man, shot in the score. Dennis gave it up to Clay Giles and another Knights goal. That's a hat trick for Clay Giles tonight. Hat trick for Giles. Dennis with another assist. Time winding down here on this third quarter of play underneath the running clock here at Lexington Catholic. And the time does expire there in the third quarter. We're going to take a break, folks. We'll be back here with the conclusion of this one. We've got one more quarter left in the books. The Knights are leading big time, 18 to nothing. Here live on Prep Spin. Take a little walk with me I'll keep you in good company And be there for you to the end You'll never be alone, my friend mm -hmm. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S, sports. In Fayette Mall and AllSportsLEX.com, locally owned and operated since 1972. Sitters are here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, kids, behave. 
Man to man? I got the little guy. Hey. Oh, did you leave cash for the pizza? I got it. With more features than ever. All right, who's hungry? Mobile banking from Central Bank lets you deposit checks, time out. pay bills, okay, you're gonna get a rip screen. send and receive funds with pop money, and more. Hey. So you can stay in the game without missing a step. Do more with mobile banking from Central Bank, official bank of UK Athletics. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. Back here live at Lexington Catholic High School. William Warfield here with you as we head to the fourth. So we put there on your screen. Call up here is uh, start the time. Lexington Catholic up eighteen and nothing. A shot by Lexington Catholic goes wide left. What a shot! What a shot! Look at this young man on the and get that. He just kind of flicked that over his shoulder. Flex to the Catholic goal. His second of the game score number two, Josh Griffin. Josh Griffin again. He just flicked that one over his shoulder. We got to definitely clip that one out. flag out there. under action here. Evidently the clock stops on the yellow flag too when the running clock is in effect. You want to think uh, simply great soaps, handcrafted soaps over there in Paris. Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming up, and uh, you should check those out. Give your mom something unique. Got some handmade soaps over there. Good uh, bubble bath stuff. Simply great soaps in Paris. You got a store over there. You can order online at simplygreatsoaps.com.
Mike Green Mangard Orthodontics for all your braces needs. Give them a call uh, over there in Beaumont Center or just stop by and get you an appointment set up. Tell your, tell your dentists you want to go to White Grin Maggard Orthodontics. Knights continue to lead this ball game 19 to nothing. 19 to nothing. St. Catholic just playing keep away right now, trying to let that clock run down against Woodford County. Good save again there by the keeper for Woodford County. Here comes the Yellow Jackets contact. Woodford County trying to get to their first goal of the game. Nice save there by Lexington Catholic once again. He's throwing a shutout right now. Woodford County's had about uh, three attempts at goal today. But uh, Casey Kieran doing an outstanding job there in the net for, for the Knights. Back on the other end again. Looks like they're going to pause the clock. Woodford County with the ball as the Yellow Jackets trailing 19 to nothing. That shot misses wide, right? Nice trying to beat them out of the box there, but Woodford County there first, so Woodford County will have it. Watched uh, Lexington Catholic lacrosse here tonight on prep spin and Night Vision, the Lexington Catholic Digital Network. That shot misses. Look for close on that. <clears throat> Stick check there by the Knights, and they come up with it. Kieran, Casey Kieran, the keeper, is on to grab the loose ball. And the Knights on the move. Oh, 
Griffin with it out top for Lexington Catholic. We approach three minutes left to go in this one. Shot wide left. Safe. Gonna admire the hustle there out of Mark Cervoni. It's uh, gonna be foul caught against Woodford County. I guess they call it a foul. There's a laundry out on the field. We know that. This one almost a final here at Lexington Catholic High School where just just over a minute left to go in this one. It's Lexington Catholic and they're gonna score another goal. A goal in there by Ben Barbie again. I think that's his second today. Ben Barbie. And the Knights lead this one twenty to nothing. Barbary. And Spencer Chris with another assist. We're under a minute now. Lexington Catholic will move on in the playoffs. Woodford County, their season ends tonight. That'll do it. Lexington Catholic. We'll move on. We'll take in the huddle here with Lexington Catholic. Knights go on to victory. Knights will play another day. They'll play, I uh, believe, on Wednesday night once again. And uh, we wish them the best of luck. And, guys, thanks so much for, uh, for tuning in tonight to our first lacrosse game here on Prep Spin. We'll take in make this official. Put the final up there for you. So long, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in.